So humor me a little bit here. This iPhone 15 Pro Max is a little bit like the German sausage over there. So this German sausage here, it's pretty much like the German sausage of 2013. It looks pretty much the same. It looks definitely like the last model, just like this iPhone 15 Pro Max. It looks very similar to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And yes, while it certainly looks the same, it definitely doesn't feel the same. It feels a lot smaller, it's definitely lighter, and it's got some pro capabilities, which I'm gonna show you in a sec. I'm gonna show you some ProRes RAW straight from this camera and uh, the log style. And we're gonna show you this in this dynamic range situation now, very harsh shadows, middle of the day, you know, we're going to see how good this log footage is off this phone here. And honestly, that's about it. Feels lighter, feels a bit smaller, and the ProRes log is a sort of game changer. You can actually lock the white balance. Oh man, Face ID still sucks, I tell you. So let's have a look how awesome this ProRes log footage is from this camera in this extreme dynamic range situation. So now I'm feeling with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and extreme dynamic range you know the sun is right directly in front of me and the extreme shadows off this bike and we're going to see how good this log footage is and this is pro res raw log and let's see how good it is um you're listening to the audio from the camera is it any good now i'm on the other side with the sun behind me and wolf man this even looks good on log footage here on the screen there so yeah much like the German sausage over here. It may look the same as, you know, a model a long time ago, but it's got some pro features and it feels different. So I don't know if that's enough for you. But anyway, let's have a look at this glorious log footage and let me know, are you gonna get one? Is it a waste of time? Is the, you know, ProRes RAW good enough just, you know, to get you over the line there? And woof, catch you in the next one. Tally ho.